great thing about Al is, is uh, and the thing that makes him different from most singers is that he's reactionary. You know, if you're playing the piano and you're accompanying Al and you play a different chord instead of the one it was supposed to be, Al sings something different because he's always listening to what's going on. So what we wanted to do was get a band of musicians who were the same way, who were all listening. So I think that's what we did. who takes these blues inflected things and applies them to different kinds of music. Steve is one of the greatest drummers in the world. We don't have to think when we play together. You know, he knows what I'm going to do. And then we have uh, Philippe Sace on synthesizers. Philippe will have his keyboard and he'll divide it into maybe four different parts and he'll play them all at the same time so your music gets really full without having a thousand people there on the stage. Patrick Stewart has so much soulfulness, and he doesn't waste notes. He finds the right ones, you know, and leaves the other ones, you know, it doesn't bother with them. Joe Sample was a guy that before anyone else, we knew we had to have. There's a certain amount of interacting that you can do while you're performing, but you, you, you may not hear everything that everybody does all the time. Joe played a solo that I didn't hear the night that he played it, and it was, it was moments later that I was like, oh, God, he did that on my album for me. Thank you, man. <laughs> Brazilian joy, you can see it when we're playing. He just has this exuberant, genuine thing happening. 